Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are doing a bit of DIY today as you can see by the title of the video and I'm going to be customising I think is the word one of my jackets which I'm so excited to do. I actually did one of these um, about a couple of weeks ago which you might have seen on my TikTok so go check that out but I've decided to do another one on this pink bomber jacket which is from Misguided. I did buy it purposely for um, this design that I want to do just because I had a specific like vision in mind and so I went onto the internet, typed in pink bomber jacket and misguided had the perfect one. So that is what I'm going to be decorating. Well, is decorating the word? I think it's called decorating. Just like painting this jacket basically. I want to paint something on the back of it just because I'm really into sort of DIY fashion at the minute. I don't know why. I think I've actually gotten it from Charlie because he always makes like jackets and stuff like that. So I wanted to give it a go and I went to the range a few weeks ago just to get like um, supplies for stuff like that so I've got some paints I've got a black a red and a white I think today I'm only going to be using the white um, I could change my mind but I think yeah I'm just going to use the white today and I also got some paint brushes and pencils just to like draw the outline and stuff so that is what we are going to be doing today and I just thought it'd be a cute little idea to put it into a YouTube video just so you guys can see and maybe inspire you to do a little customized jacket I have so many plans that I actually want to do. I want to do like a black bomber. I want to do a denim jacket and just all little bits like that. But nothing too complicated or artsy because I cannot draw. I literally cannot draw. So it's going to be very basic. Um, but hopefully this is going to go to plan. If you go and get one of these cups from Starbucks, I think it was like £2 or £2.50. Every single person in Essex has some right now. Um, I think from TikTok, but yeah, these make your drink taste so much better. I don't know if it's just like mind over matter, like a mental thing, but yeah, I can't stop drinking since I've had this and my skin is thanking me for it. So thank you, Starbucks. I've put a towel down because I don't want to get paint anywhere. Um, and I've got my little bit of cardboard just to put the paint on. And I think that's it for my setup. I'll show you what I want to do. Um, a little disclaimer before I show you what I want on the jacket. I'm not a Satanist before anyone comments or anything. I saw the idea for this jacket online and I was like, oh my god, I want to try and recreate and do my little version of that. So it does say how Satan, but I am not a Satanist. I just like the design. So yeah, don't judge. Um, but I've printed off, well, Charlie's mum has printed these off for me. Just like templates of what I want written, but in different sizes because I'm not really sure what one's going to fit best. But hopefully one of them's gonna look good. I think I'll probably go with the bigger one just because it'd be more bold on the jacket. I'm gonna zip it up because I wanna make sure this is gonna be even on the back. And like I said, I'm not a professional or an artist or anything like that or a fashion designer. I'm so far from it. Um, but I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and get creative. So that is what we are doing. This is the front of the bomber just in case you wanna know. Um, I won't be touching the front just because I like it plain, um, but I will be doing the back. This is the jacket all laid out. Make sure that it's straight and then I'm going to work out what one, or uh, what size in will fit best. That's the biggest one. I think the biggest one will be fine to be honest with you. Um, well, I hope so anyway. Okay, so we're going to go with the biggest one because um, that will look cute. And I hope this placement's going to be good. Normally, I would get Charlie to help me with stuff like this because he is the fashion DIY king. Um, but he is busy, so I'm going to give it a go. And I really wanted to do this with you guys because, you know, it's a fun little video. We all like a little bit of DIY and getting creative, especially me. I'm going to start off by cutting um, the letters out and then tracing them onto the jacket and then we're gonna paint it and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and toes crossed this is gonna look cute because like i said normally i would have charlie supervising me but that's not happening today so we're gonna go solo but we're gonna be brave and we're gonna give it a go so let's cut these out i've got this feeling i'm feeling you could be the one i see no reason why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up 
if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling. I've cut out all the letters um, for the design. Now I'm just going to trace over, but this is the part that I'm really worried about because I'm not very neat. Um, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it our best shot. I'm just going to put the letters in order. I really hope that this comes out well. Um, because if so, that would look so cute. So, let's just lay all these out. I mean, if it's not perfect, it shouldn't matter because, um, I can just paint over a little bit. I'm actually going to undo the jacket because I think it will be a smoother surface rather than having, like, the pockets underneath. Fingers crossed. This is going to look good. I really, really hope so. It would just be such a waste. I mean, the worst case scenario, I can get Charlie to paint something over it because I'm only going to be doing it in white. Um, just because I thought pink with white writing would look cute. I really wish that I was more artistic, but that is a goal of mine for this year. Just because I think it would be fun. And I literally have so many ideas of jackets that I want to do. Just little bits and pieces, little DIY projects. So... This is a good place to start, just painting jackets. I think that looks okay. Should I move it up a little bit? No, we'll leave it there. We'll just go for it. We're going to give it a go. Um, I need to trace over the letters. This looks quite hard. This is harder than the actual painting. Because the painting can just go through it. Um, wait, let me do the hail first so I don't jog the rest of it. Wanna wake up, I don't wanna wake up, I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Um, could be better but I'm just going to go for it because I really struggle with that sort of thing um, and getting it neat so this is the best that I can do so cue the time lapse of me painting this jacket please keep every single bone muscle, limb in your body crossed that this goes well which I'm sure it will um, but yeah it's the best I can do, so you know, let's, let's give me a little bit of a break, but it's not perfect, but I'm hoping that after I've painted it, it's going to look much better. Just so you guys can see the jacket, this is the back, I'm getting the S off because I wasn't happy where it was, um, so I've just like rubbed it and then put some detergent on it, which will take it out, um, but this is the rest, obviously it's not perfect at all, but it will do, and when it's on, it's not going to look bad anyway, but... Yeah, I need that one to dry, but I'm going to start painting the rest of it just so I can get ahead with it all. But I just really, really hope that this comes out because I need to redo the S. Like, it's just not in the right place at all. Sometimes I forget to breathe. So I've painted the hail and then the atom, <laughs> um, but obviously I can't paint this, it is still wet, I need to give it one more bit of like water um, and then just let it dry and it should come out, it's literally faded so much already which is good and I know that there is not a great gap between these two letters but don't judge me because I'm not an artiste um, and when it's on you won't even really notice anyway and it looks cute. Obviously, I've not done this bit yet. I need to wait for that to dry. And then when it's dry, I do the S. Um, so it will look better. But, yeah. I am really happy with it. I know it's a little bit dodge. 
but it kind of adds to the effect so we're just going to go with it and i'm sure it's going to look really cute on um but i am obviously going to leave this overnight because it's now about six o'clock so i'm going to have dinner chill out for the evening do all those kind of things and then i'll probably come back tomorrow when this is dry and just do the s and then show you the final jacket um but yeah i think it does look quite cute you might need a second coat but it does look nice and i love the contrast of the white and pink i just think it looks gorgeous so i'll come back tomorrow when that's dry and we can finish it off hello everyone it is now a few days later um and i let the like patch where i had to wash it a little bit dry but i'll be honest it hasn't dried well it's dried completely but the water has like really really slightly stained the jacket which is slightly worrying because i did follow the instructions but i'm not going to get too worried about it because i'm still going to be painting over it i don't know if you can see it's like slightly darker and um, i don't know how it's going to look on camera but yeah so it has left a little water stain but we're just going to give it a go anyway and by the time the s is on it i don't really think it will matter um because it won't be the focus and it just kind of looks like a shadow to be honest with you so it should be fine so i'm going to finish the jacket today and it's exciting because everything opens next week meaning i can actually wear it out which i'm really excited for so i want to get it finished um and then i can wear it out once it's dry and i'm so excited to do that also the rest of the writing obviously i need to do the s at the moment it literally says how Aiton. um but it actually looks so good charlie was actually really impressed with this and although i've got a little situation here it shouldn't matter too much um but the rest of it does look really really good i'm going to finish it off um just so that it's done and i'm literally itching to do this like it's been on my mind ever since i started this jacket by the way let me know if you want to see any more like diy jacket sort of videos because i have quite a few plans i want to do a denim jacket um but i want to paint that as well so yeah if you do want to see more diy videos let me know and i'll be happy to film some more because i really enjoy doing stuff like this i mean i'm not great um but i'm gonna give it my best go and hopefully fingers crossed we get better each time i don't have another hiccup like i did with this one you okay molly she's got a little cough you okay Molly's got a little cough and it makes people so sad. She looks so cute. But anyway, I'm going to trace this and then we're going to paint it on, let it dry and fingers crossed it is going to look 10 out of 10 when it's done. I think it looks alright there because um, before it was way too high but I think that does look better. You guys can't actually see but Eggs decided to sit right in front of the camera um, when I'm trying to paint which is great. Why are you sitting here Egg? He's like, no, nope, I'm going to sit here while she film. And that's that. So, let's trace this on. Um, that looks about right. So hard to know. Maybe like there would look better. I'm just going to do it because the longer I wait, the more annoying I find it. I think you can see egg now. Um, oh. Sorry, I didn't realise this was your YouTube channel, Egg. Should we change it to your name? He literally loves being on camera so much. I've never known anything like it. I'm just not very artistic. Like, I'm creative, but I'm not artistic. I mean, my art teacher told me that I was rubbish at art. So, um, never wanted to do anything because I'm just not great. Like, I cannot draw to save my life, as you can probably tell by the fact that I can't even trace these letters properly. Um... But it does look good to be fair the jacket looks nice it looks pretty and also charlie said to trace it a lot lighter because i think i was maybe pressing down too hard well i didn't think i was at the time but he said that that could be why it went wrong um and obviously it's hard to get it off when you've pressed down so hard so i'm going a bit lighter with it and i'm gonna hope that it goes nicely and it looks pretty to be fair, it does look a lot better, so I'm going to go ahead and paint. I'm just going to use one of these um, ones that I've printed out that I don't need and put the paint on it. By the way, this is the uh, Dala, Dala Rami, I don't know how you pronounce that, 
um, graduate acrylic paint in titanium white from the range normally I would use fabric paint um, but Charlie said for this sort of thing acrylic paint works absolutely fine sorry if you can hear Molly coughing she's got such a bad cough bless her um, but yeah so Charlie did say to use this paint that is why I am doing that um, and obviously these paint brushes were from the range I think I told you that already um, but I thought I'd tell you again just got my paintbrush and the paint so paint it on um, and just pray and pray and pray and pray that it goes nicely. Baby with her. last letter i just topped up uh well i like, touched up one of the letters as well and um, went a little bit sort of like not as bold um and i'm gonna wait for this to dry and then when it is dry i'm gonna show you what the jacket looks like i'm gonna give it about like an hour or something to be fair this paint takes like no time to dry at all but i just want to make sure that it is all good um, and it doesn't need touching up or anything i have done two coats on all the letters um, just so they're a lot more sort of in your face and you can see it a bit more but yeah I'm really happy with it obviously I have got the little um situation which I will show you when I show you the jacket once it's like dried um but apart from that I am really happy so I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then when it's dry we can have a look and just admire the jacket hey everyone it is now the next day and I have fully let my jacket um dry i also had to do a little another coat on it just to touch up a little bit in some areas but the jacket is now finished and i'm so excited to show you obviously remember that we did have a little hiccup and so there is a very slight water stain but to be honest with you i'm not that bothered like it just looks like a shadow when you wear it and um, you can see when you see like the jacket stretched out but when it's on you won't be able to tell um but i'm gonna show you what it looks like I've kind of had to hang it over my door, but that is the water stain um, here. And this area is actually faded because I tried to scrub it a little bit more. Um, but I'm, to be honest, really not bothered. Like, it's just a jacket and I'm not an artiste, so I didn't really expect perfect. But I do think that looks so cute. And when it's on, it's going to look even better. So I'm really, really pleased with it, even though we have this little situation. But you know what? We're going to deal with it. And Charlie did actually say, maybe do like some artwork here. But I'll get him to do that because he's really good at stuff like that. Um, and if I do, I will update you on a vlog or something. Um, but yeah, I am really, really happy with it. All the writing looks good. That does really bother me. It looks worse on camera because cameras pick things up more. But it's actually not that bad in person. I promise. Oh god, that looks awful on camera. But um, yeah. You know what? We're not going to say this was a fail because, to be honest with you, that is good for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get Charlie just to do a bit of artwork or something there just to distract from it. But considering I'm not an artiste, I think it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just hope that I can sort something for that, which I will be able to. I'll just get Charlie to do it because he's more arty than me. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, apart from that little water stain... Um, but I am just going to cover it with some sort of art. Well, I'm not going to cover it. Charlie's going to cover it with some sort of art. Maybe like some hearts or little horns or something. Just something really cute. Um, so I will get him to do that over the weekend. I'm going to bring this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Let me know what you think of the jacket and be kind. Because like I said, I'm not an artist. My art teacher did not like me in school because I was no good at art. But someone did DM me on Instagram yesterday because I put it on my Instagram story. And they were like, bad art is better than no art. And I was like, you know what? That is so true. Let's just appreciate the art. Water staining can just be this new thing that we um, do from now on. But don't worry guys, I will sort it and I will update you on a vlog when I do. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing me do a bit of DIY. Let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you want to see each time that I do something and we can hope and pray that I get better each time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm now going to go and enjoy my weekend. You guys do the same even though it's already Sunday. But enjoy the rest of your day and have the best week. And I will see you on Thursday for another video. Bye pumpkins.